Hey, welcome to the next video, which will be on open drag and RATOMIQ. So it's an open drag which builds us up for the RATOMIQ. So this is it here. So the exercise itself, the open drag, this is a drag. To play an open drag, all you're doing is taking the drag buzz and playing it as a double. Okay. A nice relaxed double, not a smash double, just a relaxed double. Okay, so you'll see it here. There's the double. So it's written as an embellishment. Sometimes you'll see it written as an embellishment. Sometimes you won't. All right. Sometimes you'll see it written. If I scroll down to links of what is this links of four? Yes, it is. Let's have a look there. There we are. So there's an open drag there. So that the little double would be the open drag onto that tap. So that's how you would more commonly see it tap and then a rat and cue like that. That's how you would see it more often than not in drum scores. Sometimes you do see it written like that, okay, with the written as an embellishment. In this exercise it's written as an embellishment so we're gonna not play it as an embellishment but we'll follow the way it's written, okay. So your first exercise if you look at the notes that aren't embellishments it's one and two, one and two. So you'll be, so you've got to put the embellishment before the second and third tap. So you get that. And then you're doing the same on the left. Let's try that quickly. We'll go tap, da -da, da -da -da, and then tap, da -da -da, da -da -da. one, two, go tap, da -da -da, da -da -da, then tap. And then on your third and fourth bars, you're doing the same, but you're just doing a flam before it. So you're going. So it's fairly easy. So we'll play that whole line at that, rel oh, geez, oh, that relaxed speed. And then I'll put the peeps on, we'll try out tempo. So you'll be here. One, two, go. Tap, da -da -da, da -da -da, swap hands. Tap, da -da -da. Get a flam on it and a flam on it. Repeated without the flam. The flam on it. Then the flam on it. Done. So let's put the peeps on and try it with the beeps. Da, 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 da. One, two, go. Flam. Repeated. Flam. And we'll do that again. One, two. Repeated. Done. And then if we move to the same line, just whizzing through these. It's the same jump da 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 da, except we're going to do a paradiddle on the last tap. Jump da 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 paradiddle, jump da 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 paradiddle, flam. Let's try that up to here. So we get this. One, two, really chilled out. Easy enough, and then you'll be chuck da 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 da. So on this one, you're just getting right, left, right, or two e and if you want to count it. So you'll be one and two e and. And this bit will throw you, okay? The embellishment's here, but you're actually going to play it before the beat, all right? So it'll feel like it's in here. So you'll get this, And that's why I prefer writing it not as an embellishment on it because it should actually be there if you're playing it on a beat. See how that doubles before the beat? Okay, so that's what's going to throw you here. Best way to think about it is just keep moving. So you'll be. We'll try those two bars. Three, four. Again, three, four. Right, let's do that whole line. Half 
after two, really chilled out. One, two, go. Repeated. Done. And we'll try with the beats. So you be this beat. Ready, one, two, go. Repeated. And we'll do that one again. One, two, go. And then moving on, same chap da 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 da. The only difference is we're going to do tick a chap at the end of it. So this movement stays the same. That last right tap needs to be there. So that's the bit that will throw you. Okay. So we need to get our mind set into that. And then it will be the same on the next group. These ones. Okay, so if I play it slowly, if I play it here, you get this. Let's try just that, the first bar. Three, four. Two, three, four. And one more. Three, four. And then you do the same on the opposite hand for the second bar. Try that. Four. So starting with the left arm. Three, four. Three, four. And one more. Three, four. Done. And then your third bar is chap, 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 chap. So you're playing one in each hand. You're doing right, left, right. And that's the flams that I'm counting there. Right flam. And it will be a life double after that. So right, left, right, left. If you prefer saying the other way, like the double, left, right, left. Whatever makes this easier for you. All right, then do it that way. Okay? Right, let's try it. I'll do just these two bars here. I'll go. Let's do the whole line at that slower, chilled out speed. One, two, go. And then repeat it. And again, the slower speed is just to help us learn it. Practice that if you need to, and then we'll try the faster one. So the faster one will be here. Let's try it. One, two, go. Repeat it. And we'll do it repeated once more. One, two. And again. Done. And then the last line, this is where we're introducing the rattle cue. Okay. So it's going to be the open drag. And then that right tap is going to be a five. So you get, and you need to try your hardest and blend that double and that five together because they're all semi quavers, okay? And then para da da da. So if I take it to here, we'll go 
that's going to trip you up the most, I would say, because a lot of folk tighten up the double, they'll go and end up with a big gap between the double and the singles. You just need to smooth it out. Like as smooth as you can. And then we do the same on the left. Okay, so you'll be, or I say on the left, with the left lamp at the start and the right double. We'll try that now, really chilled out. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And one more. And you're literally going from that first bar into the second bar. So you're doing one on the right, and then the left. And then to finish it off, a rat and a cue from left to right after the flam, then right to left, left to right. So you're ending up with flam. That. So you're not wanting to go, you're not wanting to get a dot and cut swing to it, you need to keep it flat. Let's try that last two bars. One, two, go. And again, one, two. So we can try that whole line now. That's speed there. One, two, go. Repeated. Right, let's put the peeps on and we'll try with the beeps. So you end up with. Speed there. One, two. Repeated. And we'll do repeated once more. One, two. And again. So again, that might be one that you need to go away and sit and do stuff like this. If you do then, so be it. There's no shame in having to sit and play something a bit longer before getting it. Okay. So what we'll do now is what I've done before. Play the whole page, nice and slow, top to bottom, repeating each line. And then I'll put the metronome on and we'll do it at tempo. So I'm going to play it nice and chilled out. So it'll be here. From the top. One, two, go. Put the flam on. Left flam. Repeated. Flam on. And then left flam. Next line. Repeated. one and then repeat it last line repeat it And then we'll do the whole thing again with the metronome. Play that slower one until you're really comfortable. Then crank it up. Ready? One, two. 
cool exercise shape to play. Um, again, I would be speeding it up. Once you're comfortable with it, I'd be cranking it up, but watching you don't do things like this. I'm doing stuff like that. We don't need that. Even when it's quicker, say it's here. You're keeping it as relaxed as you can. All right. Nice and chilled out. Um, in terms of the control, there's no tension or swing in that one, certainly. So practice that, and then our next exercise will be para de development.